Hi everyone. So I thought I'd do something that might be a bit like odd. I want to show you what was inside my Deluxe Body Shop Advent Calendar. I know Advent's over. I didn't want to say what was inside it um, as I was doing it because I'm quite aware that I get up at half five in the morning so the chances are I will have opened it before everyone else has and I didn't want to spoil it for those that didn't know and wanted to keep it a surprise. So I thought I'd pop together a little video to sort of go through it. Also means, because some people didn't know how to use some of the products, so this could be quite helpful as well. So to start off, this isn't in any particular order. Um, I don't remember which one, like which one came in like day one or day two or what have you. To start off with um, the buffing brush. I've talked about this before. I absolutely love it, it is so soft and it blends it in for like a really, really natural finish on your face. Um, that's what I like personally, my makeup, I don't want my foundation to be too heavy and cake on because I found that it makes my skin um, like either break out or I just don't like the caked on look, I don't like looking like I've got too much makeup on. So this is really good for that and it's also quite good to like just sort of press on concealer for it over your little wet badder areas of your skin. Next up, fairly boring, exfoliating gloves. Now these are something that like I just never buy <laughs> and it's really bad, like I really need to start um, buying them because they need to be replaced ideally every three months along with like your toothbrush and I'm terrible with that. To be honest, like sometimes I just forget straight up. To you like whether to use them these are quite affordable anyway through body shop i think they're like i want to say four pounds i don't know exactly um nothing really much to say they'd like exfoliating gloves for everyone else uh, any other brands except these are probably from well these will be more ethically sourced um and like the finance like it's a different situation next up is little bunny is so these are the um, more like more iconic of the Christmas um, headbands. Like just put your hair up for a face mask or just to get your hair out of your face. I don't have the balls to wear this outside. I don't know. I don't think it's an outside thing, but you never know. Some people will, especially certain areas of the country. I expect so. Um, so this is part to sort of really promote the um, Forever Against Animal Testing. And there's been some really cute photos of like, animals wearing these as well. So next up I'll do two because they're sort of together. These are glitter. Now I have got, I already had the gold one. I didn't get the pink one because I, I knew I could wait for this. Now these are the ones that people have been a bit confused on how to use. So in short, <laughs> what I do is I use the flat, the flat head eyeshadow brush. And I pop it, it pop, pat it down, and just dab wherever I want it. It needs to have ideally some sort of base um, to go over. So if it's on your eyes, so if you've already got eyeshadow on, it's usually fine. If you want it like on randomly your skin to get it to really set, having like a liquid highlighter or like a cream highlighter, cream blush. That will make it set really well, and then also use like a you can use a finishing spray afterwards, uh, like a makeup setting spray. Body Shop sells one, I think it's five pounds. I I use the Vitamin E um, refreshing spray as my setting spray, and it works really well. These also look really good over um, like lipstick, lip gloss, what have you, and it really gives an added little bar bar boom. So really good for the party season. Um, these are out of stock. So, like, with most Christmassy things, they are gone. I do have some in my little stash um, that I'll be clearing or just selling. <laughs> like selling or giving away, probably end up doing more giving away because I'm really terrible at that. I give away a lot of things. Then next up, Drops of Youth um, Concentrate Serum. So this is something you'll use um, like every morning and every evening. Use it after your toner and you use your little pipettes, get it up and do like two drops, pat it together and go like this on your face basically. Do not rub it in because you don't, like, it's never really good to rub it on your face. Um, it has an interesting smell 
um, and it's quite a thick consistency so you don't need lots um, it will last you a very long time and this is something that I was really impressed that was in the advent calendar because individually they can be it can be quite um, like on the pricey end and they don't they don't go on sale so it is well worth having the advent calendar to get this in my opinion next up is a little mini of the sheer um, shower gel this is my shower gel that I use like pretty much every day, like in the bigger version. So this is quite handy actually for me to have um, for if I go away and keep it in my little travel bag so I don't have to like use and like buy like little plasticky things. I've already got it in a little bottle. Then next up is this matte lip. I already have one of these. This is one of my favourite shades. It's Nairobi Camilla um, in 034. It's lovely and it stays on your lips for so long. It's more practically a lip stain. Um, I will open it up and I'll have more than one. <laughs> I'll have one in like my work bag and one in my normal handbag. Not a problem because <laughs> I'll use it enough. Then there's the eye, like the curl eye pencil. And this is in the advent calendar every year, and I'm very glad it is because that means because you're supposed to replace it every like two years, twelve months. What? what it says twenty four months on there. I mine looks a bit like not quite okay, so it means I get to replace it with a new one, and that saves me money because I I don't have to go and buy one. Next up is the Camel Gentle Eye Makeup Remover, much like the Sheer Miniature. This means that uh, if I'm going to like stay around someone's house or like go on holiday, I don't have to take a bulky bottle and I definitely don't have to resort to using a dreaded face wipe, which just, it's not the way to go. No, you, you get one skin, you get one face, you need to look after in my opinion. So this works really well, it even removes, um, what does it remove? Uh, permanent marker, very useful hat like hack and find if you have little kids in your life or if you've gotten drunk around friends and fallen asleep and they've drawn on your face it can happen especially to lads out there I know then you also got oh it's back to front but the chamomile cleansing butter now I have used this since I've got it in the thing and I knew, because I knew it was already in there, I wanted to buy it and try it for ages, but I waited for it to come up and it was quite annoying because it was like quite towards the end of the advent. I didn't know that and I was opening each one every day and I'm like, I really wanted to be this one, but it's not. Um, I really like it so far. Um, it literally melts off your makeup. You sort of look like you're from a little horror story where you like rub it down and then you've got like black coming down between your eyes. You look like you're coming from like the grudge or the ring or some sort of horror film. But it works really well and it's also not drying. And I, I normally do, I quite like being one of those double cleanse people. So I used that one and then I used a cleanser, a bit mini cleanser afterwards. And nothing came off of my face. Like, literally nothing. That cleared the whole thing. I was amazed. Um, you don't only, always have that. Even with even with this, this works really well. It's really good for your eyes. Um, not good for the as good for the rest of your face. So this got rid of everything. And if I just straight up use a normal cleanser, um, I would have to do it twice to know it's definitely all off. So I wanna make sure I properly cleanse and take all of the stuff off before I do anything else, um, especially this time of year, because we're wearing more wet makeup. It The weather's not kind to our skin, and um, my skin, like, you're so stressful. Your skin doesn't know whether it's coming or going. So now's the best time to start, like, sort out your beauty regime and get it all so sorted, ready for the new year. Then next up, it's something from the Spa of the World. This is the Hawaiian QQ Rich Nurturing Body Cream. Now, it smells amazing. I can't, I don't know, I can't explain what it smells like, but I like it. It smells like something you would get in a, like really would get in a spa. And if it's anything like the other Spa of the World products that I have, it will be amazing for your skin and a real game changer. I don't use it every day. I, I use it more like once a week. 
as a real sort of treat for my skin and it makes a real difference, trust me. Then next up we have a coconut hand cream, not really that much to say about it. Smells lush, body shop hand creams are amazing, um, as anyone who's ever tried it will say. Then finally, well not finally, I've got other things, don't worry. Then there's the Star Stamp Liner. So this has got the fine line on the other end, which is really good because my one has, right, like, it's definitely needs replacing, so I can do you see that one. And then a star on the other side. Now, I'm not 100% sure when I'm going to be able to use that outside of, like, the festivity um, season because it's not really acceptable to wear a star <laughs> on your face all year round. I guess at, like, a festival it would be okay. I'll find a way. What it does actually look quite cool. If you have the star and then you put glitter over the top, it looks really cool. I did that for Halloween time. Then another little mini. This is the British Rose um, Shower Gel. Smells lovely. The rose is actually from the UK. I really like that. Um, it also means it's like sort of less um, air miles. Would you say air miles? For your products to have travelled. It smells really fresh and it's also like, I know a lot of rose products, it sort of it just makes you think of old old ladies and like, it just smells like really like aging. That's not what that's like, that's a refreshing, like, refreshing rose smell. And it just sort of linger on you for the rest of the day. And then following suit with that one is the British Rose um, Body Scrub. It's a little gel, so it's not, it's not like really harsh. I like sugar and yeah, I don't know I made a mistake touching it why did I think that would be a good idea <laughs> um this one smells more strongly than the shower gel and I like that a lot and um it's in a little handy pot so if you're going on holiday um I'm so in holiday mode that's all I keep thinking of I'm going on holiday this year I don't know where well this year 2018 we're not quite there yet this means you can keep going and if you're somewhere sunny you want to keep your skin well exfoliated and moisturised so that tan lasts longer and you tan better. That was my biggest tip that I was given, um, I don't know who by, when I was growing up and when I went on holiday and reading Cosmo which I used to do when I was younger. Then next up the almond hand cream. I think this is like literally the whole one of the holy grails of my body shop products. I will talk about this in broad depth in my top um, video, like top videos, top um, products of 2017 video. I have more. I have got like three tubes of. The smaller version, I've got one I keep at work in my little pencil case. I've got one in like my work handbag just in case I need it on the train. I've got one in my normal handbag um, and now I have this one. I don't know where I'm going to keep it. I don't think I'm going to keep it at work because people end up using my hand cream. I'm going to keep this probably by my bedside table and it smells heavenly and it really helps you feel your dry skin, I get really dry hands because I wash up a lot and uh, I use antibacterial dry, um, gel and that really dries your skin out. Then next up, nail cuticle and nail cuticle manicure oil. I've not tried this yet, um, I haven't had, because when it came in the calendar I just simply haven't done my nails since, which is really disappointing because I'm got Christmas nail varnish on. Um, I've heard amazing things, so I'm very excited to try this, um, and I'll say what it's like. Potentially my January favourites, if it's good enough. Then next up, I'm going to just go straight in with this. This is a dice. The Body Shop Advent Calendar turned into a board game, so this is what you got on day 25. I've not completely played the game. I played it with a consultant back in October, I think, when we got our Advent Calendars. So I'm going to get it out, play it with my family, everyone had a calendar anyway. Next up, lip and cheek stain. Now I am very intrigued by this. I don't know how I feel about putting something on my cheeks and then on my lips. So I'm working out how this is going to work. I'm probably going to like dab it onto my cheeks because my, 
and then use a like use a a brush to put it on my lips. I'll do both, dab it both onto the brush. There's a bit of a weird smell. I've not used this yet. I don't know. It's very orange. I don't. I don't know if I can like. Oh, you can't really see. I don't know if I can pull this shade off. To be honest. I'm gonna give it a go. It's called Vineyard Peach, but when I just dabbed it on my finger, it was like putting some sort of orange on. Then next up, Strawberry Softening Body Polish. I do appreciate the strawberry scent. It's not good to use if you're hungover. Trust me on that one. Do not touch it hungover, ever. You you could throw up in the shower. Um, it's like, oh, it looks like it's got actual, I think it's got actual strawberry seeds inside. Like, you know, the little beet, like, bits that you get on strawberries. Maybe that's what they use for the scrub. I should have done some research. <laughs> Unfit for consumption. I like that they have to put that on the thing. That's just... <laughs> then next up, these are related. The Vitamin E Moisture Cream and Night Cream. These are like the first body shop products and first proper skincare products that I use. They are amazing. I have been mixing up and trying oils of life, but I think I'm gonna be returning to this for sure. And then I will mix and match depending on what I'm feeling like and what my skin needs. I'm trying to do a bit more intuitive um, skincare and just go by what it wants. Then, ooh. Ooh. the almond milk and honey body butter now this smells so good you just want to sniff it all day i'm not i can't even apologize for that it smells amazing and um it's 15 pounds full price well worth a penny these are really good um for like if you're pregnant it's good um like What's it? Baby shower gift, if that's what it's called. It stems from the body shop used to do a uh, mother baby range, and this is essentially stemmed from that because they discontinued that range. This is what the next up, so it's suitable for children as well. Saving the best to last. Well, I love all of the stuff I've got on my calendar, but we'll go, yeah, we'll go with it. The Matcha Green Tea Expert Face Mask. Now, let me tell you, I have wanted to use this for so long, but as I did leave it in the calendar, I could have got it out and tried it and just popped it back in and pretended that it didn't, I didn't get it in the calendar, but I, I've waited. This is essentially the mask that is going to be very important in my life. I work in Bristol, so I work in heavy pollution. Oh, even though I'm in a building. It smells so fresh. And like if you've ever had a matcha tea, it kind of smells like that. It looks a bit interesting. It is green, but I don't mind. Um, it's really good for removing pollutants off of your skin, and it will make your skin brighter and um, less sort of irritated from the air. I saw an interesting fact that matcha tea has like seven times something like seven times more um antioxidants in the normal green tea so let's get that on our face and let's drink more of that because that's the kind of thing that we need in our lives the antioxidants are really good for you so that's all of the goodies um i've rambled on a lot can't help it it's been a little while since i've done a little video and i just felt like having a bit of a chat to you all so if you liked it, let me know. Um, if there's anything you'd like to particularly see, uh, a bit more of a discussion on out of the products or just any other products, then let me know as well. Put it in the comments. And I will see you all very soon for my 2017 top products. Okay, bye.